Russell finished up, hit this zone right here. So now the question is, are we about to put in a lower high uh, and reject? Now, if it pulls back down to this blue zone, even the, the EMA, okay, still going to look like a lower high. So the knife catch for the Bears right here, pulling back the knife catch for the Bulls, will be around this blue zone, and are we going to put in a higher low and start that trend change? Now, we could always just base out and continue. that We could just keep trucking. I'm just going to go over the red candles. This is about where we should start seeing some kind of sellers. Uh, we're just barely in this zone. Let's see if we get comfortably in this zone. Uh, again, you're, you're not out of the woods until we do get above that. Uh, so overall, just... Uh, and we're right outside the expected move. I'm surprised not a lot of people bought puts. Uh, hang on, I have to read this comment. Around here, there's something called in a New York minute. I don't know if this is that fast or slow. Here's what I accomplished in a Don Fron minute. <laughs> I watched Merlin, made dinner, ate dinner, did dishes, took a shower, took out the garbage. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I was going to start, and I know if you're watching this as, as a recording. Sorry, Cody. Um, I, I was going to start early. I was at my desk. And I was just pumped. I was like, let's just do the mentorship early. But I realized people do have, other people have schedules. Uh, and if, they're, if part of their schedule is to come home, sit down, and, and this be part of their plan, because that's how I plan my trades every every night like i have my dedicated time it just turned into the mentorship this is just what i do live anyway um so i decided to, instead of go early let's just go here and then there was, i did a whole debacle with insurance by the way um so uh anyway that's that's why mentorship I was it was gonna be early i was like cool let's, let's grab some of that early crowd uh but i just felt bad for like the last minute changes all right, NASDAQ, almost that next zone right here. I, I got to say, we, we went comfortably uh, above this. We're shooting up. Tomorrow, we do have meta earnings, and then after that, Microsoft and Google. Uh, so that could just be the reason we just send it south. So I wouldn't get too carried away. I wouldn't call out the, the stock market bottom just yet. Uh, I I got to say, things, things are looking good right now, but we went right to just over 8%. Didn't really touch the correction territory but just shy of it. Uh, and with tech being such a wild card, uh, I'll tell you what I do think. It, what I can, now, outside of any degree of confidence or, hey, this is for certain, you can't say that in the stock market world. Uh, I just don't see us having a full-blown V-shape recovery like this right here. I don't think we're just going to send it. Uh, even if you're bullish and that's the stock market bottom, cool if i had just switched gears and made that a point in my head now i'm waiting for the dip buy um but right now i, I gotta say this i'm waiting for that zone and i'm probably gonna open up a short I'll, I'll open up a short i'll trail it uh and when that tags i will uh i'll, I'll see you know where are we at is that going to be the uh the a higher low you know like <coughs> sorry um, is that the higher low? Are we trending down? Are we trending up? And kind of just make that decision then. Uh, oh, but for now, man, are we a little almost, not overbought yet on the, uh, we'll call it the RSI for now. Wouldn't surprise me. See. Now, if we saw a pullback, I guess the question is that can be because somebody wants meta cheap. Uh, where are we at as far as the expected moves? We're outside this. Oh, man. Uh, now, we've seen it before. It's definitely of the rare type where we tag the upper expected move and then go screaming down to the second. Meta comes out and says something investors don't like, followed by Microsoft and Google. Yeah, we'll be right down there. But that might also be the reason we uh, we just go even higher. Let me pull up the uh, expected moves real quick. Uh, let's get this for 21. Okay, so where Q's put us at two standard deviations up. Uh, all right, so 436, 392. Let's just, we'll do a rough. 436 puts us right right there. 392. Oh, I almost had it. 392, we'll call, it, we'll call it that right there. That looks a little off. 436.51, just close to 393. 
Hmm. Why does it just look so off? Hmm. Actually, I do need the exact opinion on that one. 436.51. Just enough in the beginning. I know there's a zone right there. Gosh. Hmm. I don't necessarily like the idea of selling in Q calls. Um, I guess, you know what? If we actually do shoot up, I'll probably look at selling some call spreads. Uh, let those things get juiced up. And I might even go, uh, depending on where, if, if, if we're tagging right here, might be like the, the two and a half mark. If we're already above it, That'll be flat out at the. That'll be an in out spread. It'll be selling the the call side though, uh, so it'll be a fifty fifty, which is nice because typically in options, you know, you're gonna collect ten while risking, you know, almost two hundred. You know, uh, just to give a, a just a broad explanation. You know, in, in selling options, there's there's no home runs. Uh, that that'll be about as close as you can get as opposed to selling in the money right now and then it just crashes. Uh, but that's what I'll end up looking at. Uh, doing so if we can get it up i'm gonna put my alert right there i want to know if we're coming into that that's where i will i will sell some calls uh on that i'll be fine taking the risk uh there is my alert for the same situation as far as the s&p goes uh we almost got there um yeah i think hitting that tomorrow i think we will be overbought and we might just pull it on back into that zone uh so i might take an open short there as well might open a short but where are we versus the 625? You know what? That's a good question. Indicators. Uh, was it moving average exponential? That's what it was. Okay. EMA 9, EMA 9. Let's, uh... Now, for those of you guys that weren't here, this has been such a long-standing joke. And that's why it keeps coming up. Are you kidding me right now? This thing's invincible. It, it, it's unreal. Uh, let's go. Where's the weight? Uh, we, we got line. Line with breaks. That looks kind of cool. Uh, step line. Nope. Don't know any of that. I like that. Let's put some diamonds on this thing. Anyway, what I had done, now Now we knew things were going to get worse. We had crossed below there. We rejected. No, no, no. Finally bullish above. Whew, choppy times, you know. Times were tough. And for that case, we just go to the daily. Look, it took an absolute Rona crash to get us below the 625. Uh, chill out on the volatility. We're back on board. That's for sure going to stay there. Uh, for anybody that's watching maybe on a, a YouTube clip or anything like that, I had made a joke about how to sell a course on indicators. And again, I went to the EMA, only I went to the settings, and uh, I just started clicking the up arrow until it moved all the way below the candles. 625 had held historically for like ever. So that's that. That's the one. Uh, and that's where the joke came from. And as you can see here, um, October 30th, you should have just known. That's on you. I gave you the tools. You refused to use it. That's your problem. Anyway, we are above this. As in we're above the 625, not, not above it. How crazy is that? Oh, hindsight. That's toxic. All right. Um, <laughs> that is going to stay there until we get to YouTube. Look at those beautiful diamonds. I think a little over, a little over bought. Uh, hang on, we are going to... These expected moves were not done, were they? Why was this one not done? Spy, 504.77. Uh, did these just not save? Because we did these all on the stream. 485.55. Weird. Okay, so we are we're outside the range right now. Lisa, you're asking about a futures trade. I think you're talking about NQ. Uh, you could. 
But I think I don't know why I've always I even get the tax advantages of in queue. Uh, but yeah, I've just I've always done it on QQQ. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it ran it back in play. I guess meta will be the reason we take a rain it back in play. Uh, or we send it. Let's try it out there. 514.38. All right. Hmm. All right. So sell. And now this one I'll probably sell some 515, 517. So what I'll be doing is I'll be looking out for this. If we have a green day tomorrow, uh, it'll be for this Friday. So I will sell the 515s, buy the 517s. That'll be my insurance, you know, for this Friday. So I'll sell those spreads. If we take that trade right now, they're worth pennies. Uh, we pop up here, they'll be worth a little bit more. Uh, at that point, I'll sell those. And as long as we hold it right there below, uh, we'll be good. I have a 515 covered call for this Friday. Nice. Okay, so that's what, if if I was selling covered calls, that's where I would be at. We're we're dead on the money there. Uh, but if you don't have shares, technician, I know you don't have a hundred shares of spy, and you wanted to get on that short trade, you want to sell some of that juiced up premium call action. Insure it with that. It's a two dollar spread, so most you can risk and lose is two hundred bucks less what you collected for it. Uh, but ideally, I'd like to man the more uh, the more the merrier. I'll take that trade where the candles they'll start be worth something right here on this five ten mark. Uh, as we creep up into that, they'll just be worth more and more. Your fills will get easier, 